Hey everybody, it's me, Diz the Rockstar, part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're talking about Power, Book 3, Raising Kanan. Like and share the video, comment below, and let me know what your favorite episode has been, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's go. So, I know this show is about Kanan's backstory, but I've been the most interested in a backstory of Jukebox. Up to the making of this video, we've seen there's a white girl named Nicole, who is the one that broke Jukebox into liking girls. They're both really big into music, and Nicole is very supportive of Jukebox's singing abilities. Nicole peer pressured Jukebox to sing for their video at the mall, and Lou paid the debts in the studio so the lights can stay on, and was very persistent on Jukebox going into the booth to lay down a hook on a track for Famous. Everyone who hears her is very impressed with her voice. Lou also explains to everybody in his studio how Jukebox got her nickname, and it was when she was a little kid, people used to give her a quarter to sing their favorite song. Getting that knowledge was really cool. We also have Jukebox and Nicole getting busted making out, and she's kicked out of the crib and told that she can never come back. Jukebox looks like she's embarrassed and having an emotional breakdown. She also had an argument with Kanan earlier in the episode so emotionally, she's been through a lot. Previous episodes, we see that she has a hustle of stealing name brand clothing from shipment vehicles and sells them on the streets for cash. It might take a little time or not, but the next big thing I want to see about Jukebox is how she became a cop or a dirty cop in law enforcement. And when she is a cop, anything she may have done to look out for Kanan so he escapes getting caught. Like any kind of situation before we've seen them in the main power seasons before. As far as Kanan, we see him involved in his first shootout, his mom teaching him how to use a firearm, and also somebody getting killed right in front of him. We also have Kanan get arrested for fighting in the streets, and him asking his mom to teach him how to cook up drugs, which we can see on his mom's face, she was very emotional and hesitant to do. And also the bombshell that Omar Epps, I mean um, Howard, is the father of Kanan. Also, medically wise, he's really, really not doing good and can die soon. We also have Scrappy, who was the one that fought with Kanan. He is leaving Rock's crew and joining the competition. Rock purchases two apartments that are on top of each other in the projects, and the plan is, if the upper apartment gets raided, they can just drop drugs into the lower one. It's actually pretty genius. We also have the guy in the store that beats his wife and keeps asking Rock for more money, so we might have to just, uh, him right quick. Oh, and brothers, Marvin and Lou had the fight outside of Rock's crib after he got chewed out, and they look like little kids fighting. Like, that fight looked super fake. <laughs> Anybody else notice how Jessica, the girl that Lou is, um, dating, looks a lot like Angie? And the last thing I wanted to talk about was, are we going to see a younger version of Ghost, Tosh, Tommy, Angie, we were told in the power seasons that they did grow up together so i feel like we have to see them at some point maybe it'll be towards the season finale because that's going to be like the oh shit kind of moment at least for me anyways and i get that kanan's book is a backstory because in the current power timeline he's dead but the other thing that i would really like to see from him is how he gets in trouble enough to where he's locked up for a long time and then released and then he reunites with all these characters. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the show so far, what your favorite episode was, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.